I want to look at how files are dealt with on Linux Mint Mate 17.2 versus Yosemite on a Mac. So this is Linux Mint 17.2 and here's important work. I'm using the default word processor in each. This is my file. And so this file right here should be the closed file. This is the open file. And if I make a change to this, I just put a word in there and I save it. File save. I could close this. I could reopen it. And that change is there. It should work. And it does. That's great. But what if I add another change? I'll just put a 2 to this. And then I come out here and I hit F2 and I change the name of this. Now are they still the same file or not? Well, if I hit File Save, it's going to ask me if I want to save anyway. Document has been changed by others. Really it has not been, so let's start off with that. It's lying to me. It has not been changed by others, but I'll hit Save Anyway. And when I do that, it saves it. Okay, let's go ahead and close this again. We'll reopen it, and I will make yet another change to this, and I will make another name change to this, and let's call it Important Work 3, and we'll come into here, and now I will say File Save. It gives me that same lie. Do I want to save it? Well, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say Cancel. Do I want to save anyway? No. Cancel. So it should not save it, but on the desktop it places it there anyway. Why? Another oddity is if I go ahead and I open this, it opens up the one there, open up another one, it's now showing three items here. One is opening important work, and it actually takes some time for that to go away. Even if I close these, it's still saying it's opening something. What is it opening? Why is it telling me that? So these right here are supposed to be documents or processes. What process is opening? If I open up all of them, open with LibreOffice, I'm opening up three, I only get the three, items that you would expect, but there are certain situations, if I open them up quickly, it will start giving me additional items down here for no real reason. And I said they will stick around even once I've closed my files, those will stick around for a while. Really makes no sense and is just a source of confusion and a sign of poor programming. Let's take a look now at the Mac and I'm using the default word processor here also, Pages. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and here's my file. I just used one of their default templates and I will make a change to it and I will save that. Same idea, File, Save and I can close this and I could reopen it. And it opens up just fine. My change is there. I'll make another change to it and now I'm going to rename it. Important Work and we'll do the same thing we did on Linux. We'll call it Important Work 2. I'll come here and notice it knows the name is Important Work 2. It knows that it's been edited. I get hit File Save and it saves it. I could even do this. I can, while the file is open, say New Folder, move it in, and this will still change. If I make a change to it right there, File Save, close it, reopen it, and it knows that change. In fact, I can do this. I could change that to 5. I am going to close this. I didn't say I wanted to change it. Open it. It still knows that it's there. It knows that you've made these changes. Even if you don't sell it to save, saving is actually no longer really needed on a Mac. Now, that does lead to a problem of if I've made changes and I don't want to save them, you know, I can't just say don't save it. So there is a revert to when you could browse all versions. You can go back and say, you know, that's not what I want. And so I can go back and grab something if that's what I wanted. So I do have different versions, even with the name changing, things like that. Kind of cool that it does know that the file has been changed and automatically saves it. Pros and cons to that. With that said, on the Mac you have a choice. It does give you the option to ask to keep changes when closing documents or to close windows when quitting an app. So choice is good. This is actually a good thing on a Mac that you can turn that off. Now, one of the complaints that I was given is, well, that's not fair. This is Mac and I'm using a Mac program. What if I use LibreOffice? It's true, LibreOffice on a Mac, they broke somehow. I haven't found any other programs on a Mac that work that way. Not all programs work quite as well as, as Pages does there. It's a newer Mac program. But yes, if I go ahead and I open up LibreOffice, it will be broken in much the same way that it is on Linux. So if I go ahead and I rename this, and call it Important Work 2, and then I go ahead and close this. I didn't make any changes to it, so let's go ahead and reopen this again. Important Work 2 there, and here I will go ahead and give it the name Important Work 3. 
And so I've made the change. And if I go to close this, save changes, if I hit save, save anyway, save, yes, it will add that file. Even if I hit cancel, by the way, it will still save that file. It's just as broken here on OS X. LibreOffice programmers have gone out of their way to break things or just... They're just not programmed well. But it's not the default on the Mac, and few people use it. And it's also not the way LibreOffice works everywhere. If we go to Windows, I have similar files right here. Here's important work. This is the default on Windows. This is Microsoft Word. What it does is if I go to rename this, it will let me start to rename it. It really shouldn't, because when I go to finalize that, this action can't be completed. Try again, try again, try again. It will not let me save that until I close this and then try again, it will let me change the name. The same thing will happen on LibreOffice. If I try to change that name, it will let me. Important work too. Well, the dialogue is behind there, but try again. It's not going to actually let me do it until I close LibreOffice. So I can go ahead and close this. Let's say save, try again and then the name changes. So Windows, and this is an older version of Windows, it's Windows 7, but Windows actually works more consistently, but it doesn't have all of those nice features the Mac has thrown into it. On the Mac and on Linux, LibreOffice just acts in a pretty insane way. On the Mac, its default program pages gives you all sorts of cool features where you, know, you can move the file, you can rename the file, pretty much no matter what you do, the file is the file, open or closed, makes it for a much more uniform experience with the downside being that poorly programmed programs can break that metaphor.